Francesco lays clean through. The keeper's just glitched out there and saved it with a clean round him and his arms went even longer. I'm going to show you that on a replay and zoom in, but what? Got Francesco here. A little step over if you can. Gets past one. Lovely dribble, a bit of skill. Into the McGeady spin. Oh, sorry, the Berbatov spin. And there is the goal as well. Just using the skill moves to open up the space because he's so quick on them. It's almost like he has five-star skill moves, but of course he doesn't. But that's the, that's just the pace of how he can do it. And because of the four-star weak foot as well, it just gives you so many opportunities that our opponent's going to come through and score from this. Let's see if I can tackle. Good tackle. Right, let's go. Counter-attack. We are looking at a brand new hero called Francescoli. Enzo Francescoli. He's high-low, 5'11", four-star, four-star. Most explosive right foot. He only got added like two days ago. So we went and bought him he can play cam striker or center forward now he's got fantastic shot power finishing good long shots great composure really good short pass okay long pass fantastic agility the balance is a little bit concerning especially where he's five foot eleven but high low work rates is also very good for attacking now play styles this is where he gets really good finesse shot power shot incisive pass technical flair first touch plus and acrobatic so we have gone for an engine if we jump over to footbin the main reason is to boost up that agility and balance to get him to 95 dribbling 90 pace and we've got 88 passing now it makes him into a 90 rated cam Keeps him on 88 rated striker and a 91 left wing and right wing. Now we are playing in a 4-2-3-1 and we are going to be have Francesco Oli as a basically as our striker. But he's going to be like a supporting striker. So what that means is he's going to hold up the ball with a first touch plus. And then he's going to drive into the box and sort of give assist to left and right depending on who's where they are. And that's going to be his main role for us. Now, I don't know what to expect from the card. I've never even used any of these cards before. So we are going to be doing this in Foot Champs. And let's just see how we get to on in today's gameplay. Stop right there with the introduction of kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them. There is no better time than to head over to IGDM.com. Get yourself some coins. Very, very cheap, fast, and reliable. Use discount code NANIC at the store and get 5% off. The link will be in the description. So into our game, as mentioned, we are playing in champs. Enzo's going to be playing up front. And basically, his main job is to be a hold-up play. Move a ball in between the lines and see what his link-up play is. I'm expecting him to score three goals because he's got really good finishing statistics as well. But his main role is to be a support. So there's that first touch plus. Lovely turn in. Good finesse and over, unfortunately. But that's the role he's been playing, as you can see there. Holding up the ball and then linking up and then driving back through. He's quite big in game as well. Oh, it should have been a tackle there. I don't know how we got away with that. A little one-two between Enzo and Kev. Now Enzo's making that run. Oh, it's a good tackle from Rudiger there. Good control. Enzo holding it up for a minute. Back into him. Good hold-up play again. Little layoff to Kevin De Bruyne. Got him running through. Again, unbelievably good hold-up. And Port we can get the pass through. But you can see there, the role that he's playing in is just a supportive striker, as it were. Trying to wait for the overlap of other players. We do find him here. Good touch. That's got to be a foul ref. I have no idea how we've not had a foul there. He's actually hacked us down. We'll have a look at his set pieces. And as you can see here, he's got 88 pen, 97 curve, 88 free kick, and 86 pass. We're going to call somebody over. We're going to try and put this on Francesco Oli's head here. So we're going to play it short. Back in. Whip and excursion. What a ball and a good save from the keeper. Dave gets us a corner. We're only getting scraps at the minute. Really hard to break down our opponent. And we get the goal finally from a set piece. And that's half time. So we've had a few chances with Francesco Lee. He's managed to break through our opponent. Goalkeeper movement stopped us from scoring in the first chance. Bit unlucky with the second. We are actually going to drop him down into the cam roll now. We're going to put Son up front. And then what I'm going to do here is just get a little bit of more pace on. And I want to get Mkhitaryan out wide. And the reason being is he's using size to pass. Now, I'm hoping these three, Mkhitaryan, Kevin De Bruyne, and Enzo can open up some space for us. We've been very, very limited. Now, he's really quick on the left stick. Very strong. Good at passing. But the opponents we're playing against are just playing very, very defensive, trying to use manipulation. You see here, trying to do kickoff glitch against us as well. And that just seems to be the caliber of players we're playing today. Unfortunately, we are quite high end in the champs. So we do get through here. Lovely touch. I'll oh, force that pass a little bit there. That's poor from me. But now we drop them into the camera. We should see him have a bit more opportunity to sort of drive around and pass. So we do get the ball here. Good touch in. Poor pass this time. Francesco, he's through and behind. Some bad defending. Good finish. Whoa, 
<laughs> what a strike with his left foot. Really had nothing much to do there. A little one-two between him and Dembele. Bad defender from our opponent. Caught him out. Good left foot finish. Bearing in mind his right foot with a four-star weak foot. As again, a kickoff glitch is not going to work, I'm afraid, but I don't know how to defend it. And that's a really good finish for him. We needed that goal as well as our opponent had just scored. So into our second game then. A couple of things I'm noticing with Francesco Oli already is his link-up play and his movement is fantastic. He's got a very good finish on his left foot. I'm kind of hoping we can get more opportunities in this game. He does feel a little bit weak in transition, but his dribbling, as you can see there, is just out of this world. In terms of doing skill moves and stuff and getting past... Not an issue at all as we drive through. And we do get a green time shot off and we get fouled, I was going to say. But you can just see sort of the problems he can cause when you drive with him. Now, if this is a free kick, it's a penalty. Okay, we'll take it with Francesco. Well, it doesn't really reflect the review. We're going to put it top left or top right, sorry. Doesn't matter if we score or not. Doesn't reflect as we do tuck it away. But this is the problems he can cause you. Now, what I am noticing about the card I don't really like is... He has sort of like the default body type, so he doesn't really have his own sort of body type to help out in situations, which is a bit frustrating at times. And he seems a little bit weak in transition as well, but this first touch into step over is a really nice combination. Again, into the step over, so he's waiting to get away from the tackle, no problem. And again, we can drive past Lorente and Bruno here. It's a poor pass in the end. Do intercept. Green time for Ness and the AI block to the rescue. For example, this situation, you can drill it, step over drive, and then we can make our way through. Left footed finish and a great goal. And this is what he absolutely excels at. Those driven passes to activate the first touch plus and then into the step over and drag. And he's going to blast through almost every single defense. Let's go jump into another game. So here's our opponent's team in the third game. And let's just see if we can get ourselves another victory with him up front and playing as the camera, as we've seen. So again, doing the same thing to drive past. Little one-two. Back into the feet. Going to go for that long-range finesse. And a good save from the goalkeeper. But you can see that combination is absolutely disgusting in terms of creating space. So we've got Francesco there at the back. Can we find him? Oh, he hasn't really run to the ball, unfortunately. To Francesco Lee. Little one, two. Back into him. A little touch round. Ah, the, oh, the lovely skill. Ah, oh, I tried to do a roulette there. Why did I try to do a roulette? Hill to hill directional. Onto that right foot and it's blocked again. Keeping that pressure on though. Lovely little touch up. Knocks the player down to the floor. Little phantom glide. Into the shot and again blocked by the AI. How many shots can be blocked? Got Francesco over here. A little step over if he can. Gets past one. Lovely dribble. A bit of skill. Into the McGeady spin. Oh, sorry. The Berbatov spin. And there is the goal as well. Just using the skill moves to open up the space because he's so quick on them. It's almost like he has five-star skill moves, but of course he doesn't. But that's, the, that's just the pace of how he can do it. And because of the four-star weak foot as well, it just gives you so many opportunities. Our opponent's going to come through and score from there. So let's see if I can tackle. Good tackle. Right, let's go. Counter-attack. Let's go, counter attack, straight away, touch in. Pass one, pass two. Good left stick again. Oh, he's dribbling, it's so good. We turn the favor, it's a terrible pass from Kevin De Bruyne of all players. We do intercept though. Again, good touch, couldn't get round two this time, unfortunately. Casemiro doing the work. Yeah, lovely control, little one, two. Dembele, clean through. Referee, that's a foul. Why did he move out of the way? He goes down as a free kick. Green time across. Good save from the keeper. We're going to keep it on. Keep that pressure on. Reset the attack. Find Francesco early here. A little step over. A little turn. Kevin De Bruyne into the shot. And there is the assist as well. And this is what I'm loving about this card. If you do the, I think it's called a directional pass or the power pass, which is RB and R1 with A or X on your controller. His first touch is so good that he just does never miss control. Like here, for example, drill it straight in. First touch into movement. And now we're through 101. Go for that long range goal and I've messed it up. But just to show you that example of how the first touch works and how much space he can create from that alone. Now, if you combine that with quick skill moves and passing, you can see the opportunities that we are getting from him. There he is there. Now got the turn. Love his skill. Through ball. Oh, right where Kevin De Bruyne wants it. And a lovely assist again. 
And you can drop him into cam if you need to, but we are playing him in that attacking role where he's up front. But he comes in deep for the ball and turns around, and he's got three choices every time. Our cam, our left wing and right wing, or left cam and right cam, to open up the space. And he's absolutely broken. He is an unbelievably good card. We have a look at his performances in this game in particular. Bear in mind we played three games of champs. You can see here, one goal, two assists, 14 out of 19 dribbles. We had three shots on target, one goal. We had ourselves eight passes complete out of nine. Two were assists and three were key passes and no defending, really. But overall, really, really good card. Let's go jump over to Footbin now. So the card's got about 523,000 coins. Now, when I bought him his 570, he went down 60k within about half an hour of doing his reviews. Now, we did have an engine on him, and the main reason was to boost up that balance because it's very low. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think it made too much difference. He's so quick on the skill move that... The balance kind of counteracts with the agility to make him really good in that sense. And I think that he is a very, very good hero. Definitely under the radar, but unbelievably quick on the skill moves and the dribbling. Because he comes explosive with an engine, means he goes into full pace straight away. His passing is absolutely outstanding. His strength is a little bit annoying though at 72. I will say he does feel weak at times, but we saw his finishing was right up there. His ability, between, sorry, his ability to play between the lines is also really, really good as well. Having this high, low attacking work rates is great. The only few things I didn't like is he's got like a basic bodybuilder, haven't done his body type properly. So he does feel like a bronze in that sense. I don't mean overall, but just the way his body type feels in the game. But he is right up there. And the other thing I don't like is he's from the Argentinian League. I mean, he doesn't give links to anyone unless they're in the Argentinian League or from Uruguay. So if you have yourself a Valverde or a foreland, etc. They're going to help each other, but really there isn't much he offers in terms of chemistry. But that being said, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.